where we are right now, um, you know, with the graduation of three key players, uh, Will Daniels, who was first team all league two years in a row, Parfait Bate being one of our captains, making the all defensive team, and then Joe M. Bang uh, was a real good utility player off the bench that can really score. Uh, you know, we had some question marks coming in, and I think that's why the league picked us ninth. The, other, the two man's got to get back. Okay, on any penetration, point man attacks, two man has to get back. As a basketball coach, I've always loved to run on the offensive end. I know when I had my teams at St. Francis, we were averaging 80 plus points. Uh, we had great scorers and great shooters. When I was at St. Bonaventure, you know, we had some guys that can really shoot the ball and have really done well. And then coming here, kind of bringing a philosophy of developing the student athlete and utilizing the guys that we had early on. We won 20 my second year, we won 20 my third year, and we utilized the guys that we had. And I think a big part of that was to really try to run on offense but be a little bit more calculated with utilizing what we, what we had to work with. As the time moved forward, we just wanted to score and use an up-tempo style because I've been used to doing that. So we added on and we, we've gotten ourselves a lot more modernized by seeing who does a great job with that. And that's why we spent some time out with Phoenix, with Mike D'Antoni, out with the Phoenix Suns to see some of the ways that we can really advance our program and our running style. You gotta let guys play. Uh, you know, being a former player myself, you know, I know what it's like to constantly look over your shoulder. Um, it's the flow of the game. It's sometimes it's controlled kamikaze. You got to have the freedom to allow the kids to be good. Not, it took some getting used to uh, playing so fast, you know, a lot of mistakes are going to happen. So you just try to um, limit the mistakes as much as, much as possible. It's, it's basically all out, all out sprint with the ball. Who's ever's open up court, um, they get it. First available shot, first good shot, we take it. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely kind of a kamikaze like. We have a lot of guys that are slashes, and a guy like uh, Marquise Jones and Keith Cothran and Lamont Ulmer and Delroy James, I mean, they really can take it off the dribble to make guys better. And uh, that has really helped Kahim as a senior, has helped Jimmy as a senior to really advance his game. Screen. Curl, 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 pump, pump. Step back. Good. Coming down. Down screen. Go, Benny. Go, Benny. Go, go. Good. Good. With the defensive Good. philosophy, spent a lot of time studying the Boston Celtics, talking with their coaches, went up to a practice, got a tape, looked at some other programs and some other coaches that have really spent some time implementing a pressing style. Defense and defense, let's go, next two. Next two, next two, get in. Ball, get in, ball, ball, get around. Good, get around. Sweet up, bump, bump. So much of what we do starts with the defensive approach because the better you defend, the better you rebound, the better you can attack the bucket. The better you attack the bucket, now you can score. The more you score, that sets up your defense. So it's a little bit of a cycle that goes with the whole package. So, you know, with an inexperience and a young team, you have to constantly go over and rehash the things that are going to be real important for us. And a lot of that is on the defensive end, rebounding, as well as taking care of the basketball.
You know, there's a, a great saying, preparation meets opportunity. And, you know, what is that opportunity? Well, if you prepare, you pass the test. If you pass the test, then you're going to win the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, so it goes hand in hand. Uh, but you have to prepare. And you have to do the little things to help you get ahead. We, we, was, we was very competitive in practice. And, you know, we, we had a lot of guys that could play. And, um, you know, it, it wasn't always the same teams. We switched teams up, so that made it even more competitive. And, you know, especially it was, it was a lot more winning and losing this year. You know, we, we did drills where you won and you lose. And, you know, loser had to run or whatever they had to do. And I think that that's the, that creates a competitive edge and that helps us. And I think that that rolls up to the game. Okay, going that way, right here. Get right in, right in the wing, right in the wing, right to start. Hard work, one, two, three. Hard work. Know you made it.